How many of you want a Starlink phone? Who wants a Starlink phone? <laughs> Is it technically uh, Elon, possible? I know, you, I know you can't see it, but it's everyone. Yeah, it's everyone. All right, cool. <laughs> Elon Musk has done it again. Imagine a phone that connects directly to satellites, works in the middle of nowhere, and crushes your monthly carrier bill to dust. No SIMs, no dead zones, no middlemen. And here's the twist. Tech insiders claim this device could end Apple's dominance by 2027. So what exactly has Musk built that's making Silicon Valley panic? Starlink's satellite phone by 2027. Before we move forward, Let's hear what Elon has to say about Starlink's new phone. This is a kind of a long-term thing. It will allow SpaceX to deliver high bandwidth connectivity directly from the satellites to the phones. But uh, there are hardware changes that need to happen in the phone. So that it, since these frequencies are not supported in current phones, the chipset has to be modified to add these frequencies. And that probably is a two-year time frame. So the phones that are able to use the spectrum that was acquired probably start shipping in around two years and, and then we also need to pull the satellites that are going to communicate on those frequencies elon musk has revealed what could be the biggest shakeup in mobile technology since the iphone during a recent spacex talk he confirmed that starlink is developing a phone capable of connecting directly to satellites no cell towers no carriers no roaming the goal Seamless, high bandwidth internet access anywhere on Earth, from deserts and oceans to remote villages. According to Musk, this innovation will take about two years to reach consumers. The reason lies in hardware. Current smartphones don't support the special frequencies Starlink satellites use. To fix that, SpaceX is collaborating with major handset makers to modify chipsets so that new phones can communicate directly with Starlink's upgraded satellite network. Musk expects these next-generation devices to start shipping by 2027, aligning perfectly with the company's next batch of high-frequency satellites. What makes this revolutionary is its potential to replace traditional carriers entirely. Instead of juggling AT&T, Vodafone, or T-Mobile, users could have one global plan through Starlink offering coverage across borders without extra charges. Imagine landing in another country and your phone instantly connects to orbiting satellites instead of hunting for a local network. Musk says the connection will be strong enough to stream videos anywhere on your phone with normal indoor reception except in heavy metal structures. In other words, Starlink aims to make no service zones a thing of the past. If successful, this could upend the trillion dollar telecom industry. Analysts estimate global mobile data revenue at over $1.1 trillion in 2024. A Starlink-powered ecosystem, free of middlemen and roaming fees, could shift that power directly to SpaceX. Musk isn't exaggerating when he says it will be crazy, because this time he's not competing with phone makers. He's rewriting the entire rulebook of global connectivity. The hidden reason Tesla might be forced to build its own phone. Look at this brilliant innovation by Elon himself, beyond iOS and Android. How much thought have you, because there's always these rumors, and I've, I've contacted you about this before, but there's always these YouTube videos where they're talking about a, a Tesla phone, that releasing a Tesla phone. Have you ever thought about it? I mean, we could do a phone since, like, we, you know, we, we like the operating system in the Tesla, it, it's Linux-based, but we've, we've written a massive amount of software on top of that. So, like, probably, probably Tesla is in a better position to create a new phone that's not Android or iPhone than maybe any company in the world. Elon Musk's comments about a potential Tesla smartphone weren't part of a flashy product reveal. They were a warning. While Musk has denied that Tesla is currently developing a phone, he admitted something that sent shockwaves through the tech industry. Tesla could build a completely independent phone ecosystem if it ever became necessary. During a recent conversation, Musk explained that Tesla's software infrastructure already gives it an edge few companies possess. The operating system inside Tesla vehicles is Linux-based, but heavily modified, a foundation robust enough to run a full-scale communication platform. Musk hinted that Tesla could create a phone that's neither Android nor iPhone, effectively introducing a third ecosystem that operates outside Google and Apple's control. So what would push Tesla to make that leap? According to Musk, it would only happen if the existing tech giants, namely Apple and Google, began abusing their power. He criticized them for acting as gatekeepers of digital freedom, restricting which apps can exist 
and how people communicate. If censorship or monopolistic behavior became too severe, Musk said Tesla would have to build its own device, one that guarantees users unrestricted access and true privacy. That's where the idea gets explosive. Imagine a Tesla phone integrated with Starlink's global satellite internet, capable of connecting directly to orbit without relying on carriers. It could offer encrypted communication, cross-platform connectivity, and seamless integration with Tesla vehicles and SpaceX systems. Essentially, it would be a decentralized communication tool immune to corporate control and government surveillance. Musk's remarks have reignited speculation that Tesla isn't just an automaker, it's quietly positioning itself to challenge the entire mobile ecosystem. Whether this happens soon or remains a strategic threat, one thing is clear. If the tech giants ever tighten their grip on digital freedom, Elon Musk won't just complain, he'll build the escape hatch himself. Before we proceed, let's hear from the innovator himself. How is Starlink phone break traditional carriers? So in parallel, we're building the satellites and working with the handset makers to add these frequencies to the phones. And then the, the satellites and the phones will then handshake very well to achieve high bandwidth connectivity. But the, the net effect is that you should be able to watch uh, videos anywhere on your phone. Do these frequencies, would they work indoors, inside buildings, you know, like, like yes. your phone currently does? Okay. If you're in a building with, a, with a, like a, a thick metal roof, then no. But <laughs> Same types of... of yeah, yeah, um, normal, yeah, normal homes, yes, yeah. yes. Elon, is your vision um, for this that instead of, you know, having an AT&T account or, and then roaming when you're in the UK or you're in India, it's just, we could have one direct deal with Starlink, it works all over the world, eventually, not today, but at some point, is that the end goal? that basically we don't need a yeah. regional carrier, we have a global carrier and that would be you. That would be one of the options. To be clear, we're, we're not gonna put the other carriers out of business. They're still gonna be around because they, they own a lot of spectrum. Elon Musk's newest revelation paints a future where Starlink replaces cell towers entirely. According to Musk, the upcoming generation of Starlink satellites will communicate directly with smartphones, no SIM cards, no local carriers, no roaming fees. He explained that SpaceX is already working with major handset manufacturers to add the special frequencies needed for this satellite-to-phone connection, with both the upgraded satellites and compatible phones expected to launch within the next two years. The plan is ambitious, a unified global network that allows anyone, anywhere, to stay connected. Whether you're in the middle of the ocean, hiking through mountains, or traveling across continents, your phone will link directly to Starlink's orbiting satellites. Musk said users should be able to watch videos anywhere on your phone with normal indoor reception except under thick metal roofs, a stunning promise that blurs the line between mobile and satellite internet. This system could redefine how we think about communication. Instead of juggling between AT and T, T-Mobile, or Vodafone, Starlink users could have one global account, offering seamless connectivity across borders. Musk described it as a comprehensive solution. Your Starlink plan would power both your home internet and your mobile device, providing continuous high bandwidth coverage from the same source. When asked whether Starlink might acquire an existing carrier to expand its spectrum access, Musk didn't rule it out. With a grin, he said, buying companies like Verizon was not out of the question. That single line sent analysts scrambling because if SpaceX decides to integrate vertically, it could completely upend the $1.1 trillion telecom market. What Musk is proposing isn't just another phone plan. It's a global carrier in orbit, bypassing the terrestrial limitations of current networks. If Starlink's two-year timeline holds, by 2027, we could be witnessing the collapse of regional phone barriers and the birth of a truly planetary communication system owned and operated by SpaceX. How a Starlink phone could reshape the tech giants. What does this innovation by Elon Musk mean for Apple and other carriers? Let's see what Elon says about it. But, but yes, you'll, you should be able to have a Starlink, like you have, like you have an AT&T or P-Mobile or Verizon or whatever, you, you could have a you know, account with Starlink that uh, works with your, you know, Starlink antenna at home with your Wi-Fi as well as on your phone. And uh, yeah, it would be a comprehensive solution for high bandwidth at home and for high bandwidth direct to sell. Could you buy some uh, carriers to have more? Maybe you could um, buy Verizon? Not out of the question, I suppose, if, if, <laughs> if that may happen. If Starlink or Tesla releases a smartphone, it wouldn't just be another entry in the crowded mobile market. It would fundamentally rewrite how global connectivity works forcing both phone manufacturers and telecom carriers to adapt or collapse. For traditional carriers like AT&T, 
Verizon and T-Mobile, Musk's vision is an existential threat. Their billion-dollar infrastructures of towers, antennas, and regional data plans could instantly become obsolete. A Starlink-based global network would make roaming fees and coverage zones irrelevant, offering a single, borderless plan that works everywhere. It's not just convenience, it's economic disruption. The entire carrier business model relies on geography and exclusivity. Starlink erases both. Apple, meanwhile, faces a different kind of pressure. Its ecosystem thrives on hardware lock-in and service control, but a Starlink or Tesla phone could bypass that entirely. Imagine a device that doesn't rely on Apple's App Store, doesn't need a carrier contract, and connects to the internet directly through satellites. That would undercut Apple's tightly managed ecosystem, a system worth hundreds of billions in subscription and service revenue each year. The real shift, however, lies in who controls access to the digital world. Today, that power is split between platform owners like Apple and Google and network providers like AT&T. A Starlink phone merges both roles under one company, SpaceX, creating a vertically integrated communication empire that handles hardware, software, and signal delivery from orbit to pocket. Analysts predict that if Starlink achieves mass market coverage by 2027, it could capture tens of millions of users disillusioned by carrier costs and Apple's restrictions. Competitors would be forced to respond. Apple might accelerate satellite connectivity features and carriers could pivot toward enterprise or infrastructure leasing to survive. In essence, a Starlink or Tesla phone would do to telecom what Tesla did to automotive. Expose inefficiency, eliminate intermediaries, and redefine what connection means. If Musk pulls this off, the next revolution in communication won't come from Silicon Valley or Wall Street. It'll come from orbit. Elon Musk isn't entering the smartphone race, he's ending it. The Tesla Model Pi isn't a device. It's the start of a new digital era where you're never offline, never restricted, and never dependent. From Earth to Mars, one phone connects it all. So the real question is, are you ready to hold the future in your hand? If you enjoyed this video, we've selected two more videos we think you'll find fascinating. Check out our recommended picks on the left and right of your screen now.